Give me a fucking spike shield. Let me win some battles. I should probably get this sword. Maybe I don't want it. For real. There you are, Pan! I think we're gonna try starting with a Pan build again. See how that works. Oh, wow, okay. You're definitely beating me. Does that freaking banana? Question mark? No. <laughs> banana sucks. Real talk, I think we only won because we have the maximum health. The increase in health of having the heat items inside of the fire pit. 33 versus 25. That was the only difference. Plus vampirism, I didn't see that. We got lucky with RNG. The random buff we got was vampirism. How much did we heal from vampirism alone? Oh. Well, nine. We would have died without vampirism. <laughs> that sucks for him. We won purely off of just one lump of coal inside the backpack RNG. I almost put that inside of the wooden sword, too. Imagine I put that inside the wooden sword instead. I think we would have lost. All right, Spike Shield, I need you to carry me as you do others throughout the beginning matches of backpack battles. I need you to do 30 damage, you know, roughly every single time. All right, let's see how much damage Spike Shields did here. How much did you carry? 22, let's go. That's some good numbers. That's some good numbers, Spike Shield, real good numbers. Real good numbers. All right. Looks like you're going for an egg scowler, too. I think that bone arrow was a nice touch. Are we losing? I think we're losing. Owie. It's okay, though. Um... In a minute here, we're not just gonna have heat. Any, we're not gonna have any more heat. Can I have space, please? Can I have space, please? A spear and a shovel. Ouch. For them. Because the spike shields is just... It's just too good against two weapons. How much damage did we do? 21? I'll take it. I'll take it. Can I be bigger space, please? All right, give me all the fanny packs. Give me all your fucking fanny packs. <laughs> give me all the fanny packs you, you have to make this thing just a really fast pan. That's what you do. One really fast freaking pan. One really fast freaking pan. Oh. Okay, do we lose? I think so. Maybe. He doesn't really have stamina. I think that's what's saving us here. It's his lack of stam. Yeah. All right, awesome. All right, it's looking like we need a stamina potion. Not getting one, though. 
How unfortunate. Hey, how am I? Hey, Dot. What's up? I'm doing good. Bloodthorn. Wow. We lost. <laughs> That's a Bloodthorn. And he also has pineapple for the DPS increase, the early DPS increase. And then thorns hurts us. Good game. I don't want a pandanomium. Oh man. I have to take the freaking... I gotta take the chili. I can't pass up on chili. We're just making this thing stronger and stronger. Slowly but surely. <laughs> trying to get a little bit lucky. What do you do if you can't find a stamina potion? I guess you just have to suffer. I think we win. Yes. Nice. Let me get that Crusader, sir. And let me get that and that. And now one gold, no stamina potion. No stamina potion. Ah, oh, sun armor, bro. Why do you have to do me like this game? Why? Why? Finally. Should have gotten the sun armor though, I think. Sun armor would have been banger there. It's fine though, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I think we win. Enough longevity is going to go on where we just out heal because of regeneration. Yeah. GG's. Oh yeah, this run just got way better. This run just got way better. It just got way better. That makes all my pain go away. <laughs> Holy shit! I know, right? <laughs> this run just got way better. Jerry! You're back! Haven't used a Jerry in forever! Jerry's here to save us from our pain and suffering. All my homies love Jerry. Just need enough clovers? I mean, we can just activate Jerry from Excalibur. We don't even need to activate it the regular way. How many clovers do you even need? I actually don't know. Oh yeah, we definitely lost this. I didn't even see the chain whip up there with the, with the steel goober. We last a long time though. But now we have Egg Scalibur and Jerry. And our build is now one of the best builds on a girl. We need mana though. We need mana. So we need mana orbs. That's the thing. We're gonna have a really, look how many, what? Look how many freaking fanny packs we're about to put on this thing. It's gonna be fast without heat. Probably use some of these fanny packs for uh, something else. TBH. Is that the most amount of fanny packs you can put on an Excalibur? No, it's not. We can... I think it's this. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the fastest most amount. So we're, you know... Got a free one here. I guess.
All right, let's see here. I just see heat and mana. That's it. Okay. We can get more blueberries, I guess, for the clovers. That's like not difficult. Stamina? I'll take uh, probably. <laughs> probably. I don't know where to put you, bro. I'm gonna just wait to put you somewhere until the game gives me space. Oh, the, what a, what a build to go against on our first time having Excalibur with no mana generation. Bloodthorn with a bloody Goobert with Nocturnal Locklifter with a heart container. Come on, Jerry. You're carrying us right now. This is your duty. This is your duty to carry us, even though our mana generation is, is balls. This is still your duty to carry us. Come on, our first activation. And one more mana gain. Here we go. Boom! Let's go, Jerry. I wonder how much regeneration we can get with Jerry and uh, Burning Banner. Giving us just a bunch of regeneration. My goal is going to be 50 regen. Because our damage isn't going to be high enough to kill our opponent fast. We're literally going to have to survive off of uh, longevity. Which will definitely be doable. Definitely. Alright, orb and space. Orb will go here. Honestly, bro, let's just do that. Play it. I don't know if that's better, but I'm gonna just do that. I didn't realize that Excalibur can activate Jerry. Yeah, it can activate any food item instantly. Whenever you, well, not instantly, but you know, when you get up to that 11, it can activate any food item. Jerry, pumpkin. I think that's the only other food items, other than, you know, your normal food items, of course. Our biggest fear is probably burst builds. We win this too because of longevity, I'm pretty sure. That hurt. Oh, invulnerability? Hey! We need better managing. These things need to be activating like crazy. We lose? I thought we were gonna win. We might actually lose. One more proc and we win, I think? Nope. Damn, we actually lost. I'm actually surprised. I need space. I need space. I need armor and helmets. Yeah, I need the helmet. I need helmets. I need a shield. A heart would be nice. I need this shield, but... I don't think it's like a super big deal of not having that shield. I think right now the main priority will probably just be mana. The more mana generation I have, the better. The problem is space, really. That's why I think the biggest problem is right now. 
Um, we have so many fanny packs. We don't even need this many fanny packs. Oh, on a piercing arrow? Okay. He hurts. That's for sure. Oh my. Zerker mode is probably going to hurt, too. But we're scaling. Everything is getting faster. Which means we gain mana faster. Which means we activate faster. Awesome. I need space, bro. I love the fact there's a heart here, though. Fuck it. I'm doing big boy moves. And that was a big boy move. We will never get space. I don't even know what space is. <laughs> the game is going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fanny packs before it gives me a fucking leather bag. I'm gonna buy it. Okay, Mana Torch, we meet again. Falcon Blade Mana Torch on a Berserker. Interesting. With double ability daggers on a Brass Knuckles. I like that. I see the vision. I see a vision. I kind of like the vision too. The fact that we proc the heart container kind of early is good because it gives us that maximum health. Plus, it gives us the empowerment early. And then the 15% increase in healing for our uh, regeneration and all the food items we have is good. Nice. Look at look at it. You see that piece of shit? <sighs> I'm never seeing another regular bag ever again. I'm officially convinced they don't exist. put the I don't know I kind of want to put the banana on the activator a little bit have it one to the left over here this is for the heart container because these activate faster I mainly just put it on here for the uh, Excalibur I mean could move these up by one and do this oh so i don't take a damage spot away uh 
Oh yeah. I could have put a blueberry here and then this could go here. Do you want to put it here? I'm gonna be honest. Just because it's a 1.6, it'll generate way more mana than that. I mean, we're only losing one extra damage, and we're getting the empowerment from Jerry. We're getting that extra damage anyways because of Jerry, right? I don't know. Every trigger will also figure. <clears throat> every trigger will also trigger the food too. Here's how. I see, here's how I see it. I feel like putting it here generates us more mana. I do think the chilies aren't the best activators, though. Honestly, I feel like maybe moving this up by one is probably a better play. Because this is a better activator than Chili, plus it gets 10% faster for every star slot anyways. Like, even that would be better, because that's another star slot. We put the blueberry there, that's another star slot. So now that's just a better activator. Because it's just faster. We could also do the same thing with Heart Container. But why am I putting this other Chili? Unless I get rid of the or uh, the bananas, I mean blueberries. I don't know. The banana there is kind of just for stamina. And I like to have that on the activator. I mean, we already got five, four chilies as activators, right? Like. How crazy does it need to be? I'm gonna try this out. I still think this is just an overpowered build because we got Jerry. Watch me lose. This is like a, what spike? What's your spike generator? You don't have a spike generator. So we win. Your poison is non-existent, other than, uh, Belladonna's Whisperer. But we're just gonna cleanse it because of the chilies. I don't even know how you're doing damage right now. Oh. Gaining the empowerment from Claws of Attack? And Carrots? That would explain it. Who win though? I want more mana generation. Oh man. That's the only thing I want now is mana generation. I don't care about anything else but mana generation. This is a scary build. Woo! Big boy procs. Big boy procs. I don't know where all this mana is coming from. Big boy procs. Big boy procs. Where is all this mana coming from? Because we're procking like crazy. It wasn't like this in the last game. What the hell? We didn't change anything. <laughs> that wasn't like the last game. Made a 64 region. 
We didn't change anything. We just started getting big boy procs out of nowhere. We didn't change a single thing. Last game, it didn't happen like this at all. I don't know what, what changed. <laughs> if this game doesn't give me a fucking mana or, <laughs> or at least give me another fanfare. All right, bro. All right, bro. Oof. All right. <laughs> Should I get a flute? It could be clover generation for Jerry, at least. A little bit of clover food for Jerry. Stamina generation for us. Why not? Because we have no other clover generation other than the blueberries, I guess. But I don't know. I figured this would be just be a little bit better. Burning Banner versus Burning Banner. No mana generation for your double glowing crowns is nutty. He also doesn't have a... Oh, he does have a spike generator. What is eating your mana? Oh, I'm removing his buffs. Oh, this sucks for you. Because this is your only spike generator for your... Uh, for your flame whip. And if this is just removing your buffs, this is just going to give you more mana. Because <laughs> it goes mana, then spikes. Now it's giving him spikes. Spikes is going to be used on the flame whip to generate him heat. But you need a better, you need a pineapple, brother. Because if you're going against something that removes buffs from you, then like, this is just going to give you mana. And your build gets fucked because of it. Oh, it had a dark helmet, which notified a lot of your buffs. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, the game's over. Looks like this is going to last a long time, though, because he does have healing. And he's only getting faster as well. He's got 68 heat. I'm so pretty sure we're going to win this, but... It's going to last a long time. Can we get up to 100 region? Nope. Not yet. we still got a few more games up our sleeve. If I can get mana regeneration, bro. If I can get... Mana Orb, Fanfare, we're in the clear. Honestly, getting another heart container would be crazy. No. Bro. I'll get the bird. Where do I put the bird? Honestly, putting it right there wouldn't be bad. Because why not? I don't even know if we need the banana anymore. Because we have a flute. Flute can give us stamina instead of relying on a banana. All right, next round, I don't care. We're W King for mana. No matter how much money we lose. I wish I had your, your mana. You got three mana orbs this game. I got two. No dark helmet either. It's going to be a fun time. Give me a hundred. I'm looking for a hundred mana. I'm right. A hundred uh, regeneration. That's what I need right now. Hundred regen me. Oh, it's starting. There you go, Jerry. There you go, Jerry. That's my boy. You just now proccing B mode, bro? That's my boy. 50 regeneration? 70? And he's still at full health? Well, not full, but, you know, half, half health. Let's go, Jerry. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting up to 100. He's still in uh, B mode. 100 region. 1,000 health, 1,000 health. It's going to take a little bit. 
We got 40 empowerment, bro. And we're hitting for 50 each with 130 speed. The only thing we're lacking in right now is stamina, or else this person would have been dead. Well, they're about to die now. <laughs> Damn it. We didn't get a thousand health. We didn't get a thousand. All right, mana. Should I use Dejan Lent for mana generation? <laughs> it's also going to give me clovers. Jerry's going to eat all those fucking clovers. Why not? Let's get it. Mana. 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 Uh, I'll take a blueberry. Mana. Mana. Orb. Orb. All right, how are we going to get up to six gold? Hmm. Sell all my heat? We need space anyways. <laughs> Fanfares are doing work? Oh yeah, for sure. More hearts though? You think we should have gotten more hearts? Probably right. Ozzy, I'm selling this blueberry. Give me this guy. I don't think that's a bad spot, actually. Okay. How do we organize this? It's just going to be annoying. <laughs> Right, there we go this is going to generate us mana and clovers and spikes kind of just doesn't matter hopefully we don't go against something that removes buffs from us like a chain whip okay perfect person to go against oh my gosh they also get maximum health they have sun armor for healing they have pineapple and Tuscan Poker for a spike generation and uh Dejan Lamp and the Stone Skin Potion. So their heat's gonna be fast. Plus they have that for survivability. I'm thinking this is going to be a long battle. Which means we should get up to a lot of health and regeneration. And that's the plan. Because I do think this is gonna be a long battle. They're whooping our ass initially though. Look how much heat they started off with. 30. Jesus Christ. With six empowerment and a lot more health than us. But our secret little weapon, Mr. Jerry. Mr. Jerry is making this all work oh so perfectly. Proc your crown. I like that. I like the survivability, my friend. I like the survivability. And they have three cheeses. Yep. And they got three cheese. Oh, they have the rainbow. Uh -huh. 
They have the rainbow badge. They got fucking Pyromancer, Berserker, and Ranger items. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a really long battle. I think they outscale us in heat generation, but we got them beaten in empowerment in regeneration, regeneration. Oh my gosh. This is going to last forever. This is going to last forever, bro. Oh my God, it's going to last forever. 130 plus 73. <laughs> We have to one-shot them realistically, right? There's no way we one-shot them. We're not about to do a thousand damage in one hit. <laughs> it was cheeses, bro. Yeah. Three cheese. And they still got more maximum health than us. But we got them beaten damage. And healing. We're like healing almost double their health. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we going to lose this? Are we going to lose this? I think we lose this. We actually lose this. We actually lose this. There's no way. 50 spikes? Oh, yeah. The 50 freaking spikes. No. <laughs> that was a good game, though. The, the 60. How much damage did the spikes do? One thousand. I've never seen numbers like this before. One thousand four hundred and sixty-eight damage with spikes. Not to mention he had double DPS. He had Tuscan Poker and the Flame Whip, both doing damage. And all we had was the Excalibur on our side. Dang! If we had like better stamina generation, like another flute, oh, it'd have been perfect. Or even just like even having like one or two bananas on the insta proc would have helped i think just with that standard generation one crop the crystal in the backpack just for moments like this healing 3382 yeah we definitely out healed him actually maybe not he did have sun armor and glowing crown but we got all our chili peppers though all our chili peppers Dang. Yep, mana orbs is the most mana generation. That was a good game, though. I'm sad we lost. <laughs> I'm sad we lost. Freaking spikes. Spikes was definitely the decider. If we just so happened didn't take that, uh, you know, 1,468 extra damage, we would have probably won. <laughs> There was nothing else we could have done there, though, right? No way we could have. Actually, we could have probably removed the spikes. All we needed was a Dracunic Orb. That was it. Dracunic Orb removed spikes there. <laughs> All we were missing was one singular Dracunic Orb. And that would have decided the match, I think. Bro, all his empowerment came from two carrots. Two measly carrots. Good game, though. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Or did I corrupt the crystal in the back? But yeah. Do you think I would have gotten that far and done that well without Jerry? Like, let's be honest. <laughs>